Hooke's law enables us to find the tension in a stretched string or spring. We don't need to learn it as a statement, but we need to use the formula that T equals lambda x over L, where T is the tension in the stretched string or spring. Lambda is the modulus of elasticity of the string or spring. X is the extension of the string or spring beyond its natural length. And L is the natural length of the string or spring. This same formula can also be used to work out the thrust in a compressed spring, where x would then be the compression of the spring. In this question, we first of all need to find the tension in the string. We can do that when it's in equilibrium by resolving vertically. Then we can apply Hooke's law to enable us to work out the extension in the string. Uh, the solution doesn't quite finish off the, the question. It should then add the extension to the natural length of the string to work out the length of the string when it's in equilibrium. The first thing that's calculated is from the diagram. We can use the 3, 4, 5 triangle to work out the length of the string when it's stretched. We can also then resolve vertically to find the tension in the string. If we know the stretched length and we know the natural length, then we can work out the extension x. And finally, we can apply Hooke's law so that we can work out the modulus of elasticity. Hooke's law can be applied to a compressed spring as well as a stretched spring or string. Here, x is the compression in the spring, so we can apply Hooke's law to work out the thrust in the spring. In this type of problem, we need to, first of all, let one of the strings have an extension x. So here we've let the extension in string AB be x, and that means that the extension in string BC must be 2A minus x, so that the total length between A and C is 4A. We can apply Hooke's law to work out the tension in the top string and the tension in the lower string in terms of the unknown x. Once we have expressions for the tension, we can resolve vertically and that then enables us to get an equation where we can work out the value of x in terms of a and then finally work out the required height above point c. The first thing to do here is to resolve vertically and that leads us to the uh, equation 2t cos 60 equals mg and hence the tension t equals capital Mg. Then we can work out the length uh, of the distance from A to P and if we then double that that gives us the extension of the stretched string if we've got the length of the stretched string we can then work out the extension in the string by taking away the natural length from this stretched length the first line of this working is from applying Hooke's law so tension equals lambda x over L so in this case lambda is 4mg the natural length is 2L and the extension is 4L over root 3 minus 2L. This leads us to the fact that the tension equals 0.26mg. And from earlier in the working, we know that tension is also equal to capital MG. So therefore, 0.62mg equals capital MG, and thus enabling us to work out that capital M is 0.62M.